Hey, this is Matt uh, with More Storage Solutions and uh, Welding Services. And uh, I was going to, I bought a new nail gun. I was going to uh, review it, just do an unboxing of it and kind of see how it works. Um, traditionally in the past, we've always used these Hitachi nail guns, um, you know, but they'll shoot. Oh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It'll hold 50 nails, two clips of nails, and uh, tried and true, proven, great gun. Um, I just want something that, that uh, I don't have to load nails as much that I can roll with. Um, so. I, I decided to go with this. This is the DWF83C, and uh, we'll see how it works. We just want to kind of do the the uh, initial unboxing. These are guns that I use every day to make a living. Okay, these aren't guns that uh, these aren't. This isn't something that I use just on the weekends or use on the weekend or or uh, uh, in the evenings on my in my garage. These are guns I use every day. I work with them. We shoot thousands of nails through them. And so this this is a true, uh, real proven review. This isn't just a, something that we've, um, you know, that, that I've read about in a blog or something uh, or tried to read online. Something we actually do this. I bought this. I picked it up at Home Depot for uh, $269. And then I bought a box of nails and there's... Let's see. There's 2,700 nails, and it costs 45.87, I believe. Okay, and so, and so that's it's not too much different than the than the strip nails. But like I said, I want something that just holds a lot more nails that that I can roll with and work with, and and I ain't got to stop and reload near as much. Um, like I say, I do this for a living. This isn't just something that we that you know I'm not a weekend warrior, if you will. No offense to weekend warriors. Um, but I've been doing this my whole life, and I know these Hitachi nail guns are proven. My great-grandpa, my grandpa, my dad have all used these guns, and they're great guns. But anyway, besides all that, let's get into uh, opening this new DeWalt. These are a 15-degree coil frame and nailer um, DeWalt gun, and it'll shoot 2 inch to 3 and a quarter. So here we go. Pull out my trusty pocket knife. Every man should have a pocket knife. Let's see if I can get it open here. It's actually stapled. Stapled shut. And I know at the store they had they had plenty of I didn't even need my pocket knife. They had plenty of uh, security deals around it, so here we go. Pack it, yeah, whatever. Um, Alright. Hey, there we go. It's a little bit heavy, a little bit heavy, um, especially when we get 200 nails in it. Maybe that, I hope that ain't the only, I hope that's the only complaint we have. Um, a little bit heavy, but it does have the the uh, uh, quarter inch uh, mail end ready to go. That's good. I didn't have to hunt around the shop pulling off of an old tool somewhere. Oh, uh, what else in the box? Da, 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 da. That's it. Plain and simple, easy enough. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I already know about that. Has two modes. It has uh Okay, that that's all that was saying. Okay, it has right here where you can have where you, you can flip it back and forth and you can put it on single fire where you have to push it down and then pull the trigger. Or you can do it like a real man and pull the trigger and then just boom 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 boom. So I'm going to put it over on that mode because I am a professional and I don't shoot myself. We're going to load it up. All right, let's see. The box of nails. Three inch. Three inch by 120 thousandths. Framing nails, 15 degree. I don't know if you can see this. It's pretty self-explanatory on how to load it. Whatever, I'll get down here. I'm gonna load it up. And I shouldn't have to. 
Um, I need to set my depth on this. That's something. Set your depth or else the nails will fall out of the... Simple enough. Ambulance passing. Put your nails in there. The driver's stuck down for some reason. I don't know why the driver's stuck down. Now I gotta find something to push that driver up. The driver's stuck down, straight out of the box. Let me see. Here's a nail off the floor. It probably just fell down. Let's hope that ain't a sign of things to come. All right, hold on, I go get some oil. Lucas, heavy duty air tool lubricant. I bought it on Amazon Prime, had it here within a couple days. I'm gonna put a couple drops in there. Oil leaking out on it, wiped out of my pants. Alright, air hose. I got air compressor hooked up. Uh, it's running about 110 pounds. Alright, I'm loaded up with nails. Load up, let's try it. Here we go. Well. It didn't sink them all the way in. It didn't sink the nails all the way. You can see there. It didn't sink them all the way in. But it does have adjustment. Let's see. It sunk the first two. Took them all right, but let's see. I'm gonna adjust it down because I'm framing storage buildings. Making storage buildings, so I need it to put on all the way. There we go. Perfect. So that's a, I, just, I shot one, two, three, four, five, six nails, seven, eight nails. Adjusted it because I wanted it countersunk and it put four of five of them in, which is perfect. So um, I'll let you know. We'll try it out. I just wanted something that I don't have to stop and reload nails all the time. If I'm up on a ladder or, or whatever, just stop and reload nails. But uh, I'll let you know. But so far, so good. We'll see. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Um, I might start doing some of the, some of these tool reviews. Um, I've got a very uh, wide plethora of tools. I've got a lot of tools, um, and they're used every day. They're not. I'm not a weekend warrior. I'm not a a uh, you know just one of these DIY guys. I don't own khaki shorts, um, and I don't own polo shirts. And I hate going to Lowe's on Saturday um, because it's full of them people, which if you're one of those people, whatever, more, more power to you. Um, but this is what I do every day. This ain't a, so this ain't a sponsored review, but so far so good. It is kind of heavy, um, but I don't do a lot of overhead work, so maybe that'll be fine, but we'll go from there. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention, this thing right here, Hang it on your belt. Um, but as heavy as it is, it seems like it'd pull your pants down a lot. Maybe if you wear a nail bag, it'd be fine. But anyway, all right, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Hey, we appreciate it. Have a good day.